Okay, so we're going to be doing some work on a Ford. This is a 2012 F550 with a 6.7 diesel. Um, basically, you got you know your one 12 volt, you got your second 12 volt. Basically, the problem is um, only one of these works. The fuse blew because I tried boiling some water in here. Don't 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 try to boil water in your vehicle. It, this thing isn't made for it. I was using an inverter, like 400 watt inverter. Yeah, it couldn't pull it. Blew a fuse, and now I need to find out which fuse it is. Uh, let me quickly show you what the problem is. Okay, so I got the ignition on. I don't know if you can see the little light bulbs on. Light bulbs are on, but basically, plug that in. Power it on, and you have power. You can make out that it has power, right? Turn it off. Plug it into the other one. It does not power on. You saw that? It's dead. It's kaput. It's done. Nothing. Nada. See that? No light. So these run on a separate uh, fuses. And basically what I found was that this one I think is bank 5. And the, the driver's side fuse is... I don't know what that is, honestly. I looked through the manual and let me tell you the manual is not very helpful. Because they just lame everything bank, 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 bank. And it's just like, dude, I don't know what bank means. So, we're going to have to go in and manually find what the problem is. But hopefully this helps somebody out. Okay, so with the hood open, we're on the driver's side of the vehicle. Right here is where your fuse box is located. So we're going to just squeeze two tabs. I really hope you can guys see everything because I can't see anything. I cracked my screen on my phone, so uh, I can't really see what I'm doing. I just hope that's just like, like squeeze those two and gently massage it out of place. There it is. That's come out. Now basically, you have like a million bajillion fuses under here. Uh, I just need to figure out which one's bad. So how are we gonna do that? And this is what I plan on using. I'm going to use a multimeter and multimeter and you don't know suppliers. Basically, here's what my plan of attack is. Using the multimeter, I'm going to test these regular fuses that I can. All those down there. And then these fuses, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to pull. So make sure your ignition is off. But I'm going to have to manually pull them. Or maybe I can even maybe see which one blew up. This might be a pretty short video actually if I can fake see which one blew up. I'm just cleaning up the tops. Honestly, I don't see anything that looks like a blue up. Okay, so visually, I mean, yeah, visually, I don't see anything that looks out of the ordinary. Oh, wait. Wait, I see it. I see it. Hold on. Hold on. Let's just pull this guy out right here. You see that? Nope. This guy. I see this one looks like it has a little break, 20 amp fuse, and that one, according to our fancy diagram, is going to be 83. 83. So I guess 85 is driver's side. Or 87. Let's try it out. Let's first pull them out. 83. This is 83 right here. Ouch, that wasn't supposed to happen. Shoot, not good. But I mean, yeah, you can see that it's broken. It's popped. I actually have no idea how to remove these guys, by the way. So let's try to pull them out like this. Okay, there we go. And looking at him, let's see if we can focus in on him. Not the grass, I don't need the grass. Let's put them on somewhere. And there, come on, focus. Okay, well, I mean, you got it right. It blew up. Both of them blew up, 20 amp fuse. So now we just need to find something to replace them with. I'm gonna need to find a diagram, and hopefully, hopefully we find, we can use one of the other 
fuses to replace them. So let me quickly check it out and see what we can use. Okay, so this is kind of weird. I'm recording my own screen on my phone, but basically let me show you. We're looking at the engine diagram, right? And we know that fuse 83 is the one that blew. Let me show you the one weird thing, why this gets really weird. When you go to 83, right, it's a 20 amp fuse right there. They call it auxiliary point, auxiliary point. Then you look at 87, it's also an auxiliary point. Look up 88, also auxiliary point. Scroll down further, 92, 93, all auxiliary points. So you don't really know which one goes. So I'm going to assume that 83 is the driver's, is the driver's, side, um, driver's side fuse to the cigarette charger. So based on this diagram, I think we can get away with using... Um, I saw something that looked promising. Where was it? We can probably use Fuse 27. Let me go pull out Fuse 27. We'll plug it in. Hopefully I don't get any check engine lights. But let's do a quick check. Fuse 27, which is 25, it's 5 more amps, but it's whatever. Okay, so based on the diagram, 27 is right here. So it's going to be right in the corner. And based on what I'm seeing, that's a 25 amper right there. So let's yank him out. Hopefully I don't break this one too. Let's gently try to pry him out. And I really hope this camera's focusing because I do not see what I'm doing. There we go. And let's plug him in right into 83. So this, I'm going to just say, this should be a 20. I'm putting in a 25. This is not recommended, but desperate times call for desperate measures. So let's go try it out. Okay, back in the car, back in the vehicle, I should say. Let's plug it in again, make sure this one's still working. Plug it in. We got power. Okay, we had power, so this is not fancy. Let's try the other side. Beep, beep. Again, plug it in. Aha, oh, we got power. We fixed it. So, 83 is the driver's side fuse for the 12 volt pattern. I'm hearing weird noises come from behind my seat. That's probably because we unplugged the urea heater. But let's now try to start up the truck and see how it behaves because I don't want any problems. Uh, well, besides the fact that I'm low on fuel, that I, that's not a problem. I know I was low on fuel before I started this. I don't see any check engine lights. Still needs to warm up a little, but... I think we're good. So, we're fine. By the way, this is just for show. I unplugged the ure urea heater, but don't do that. You need your urea heater for your dev system. You know, wink, wink. There's a reason I'm unplugging mine, but you know, I think you can read between the lines and know what I'm doing. But if you have your dev system on, which you should have it on, it's not a good idea to unplug the urea heater. Desperate times call for desperate pressures. I pulled it out and, you know, I put it in somewhere where it actually works, where it's actually being useful. That being said, if you're using your urea heater, which you should be using it because you have your dev system on your truck or vehicle or whatever. Uh, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, you will need that 25 amp fuse back there. So. I just showed you which which fuse was the one for the driver's side cigarette lighter, but you know now you know which one it is. The whole point of this video is just to show you which one it is because I couldn't find it on the diagram. Thanks for watching.